Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Vaughn with CCM Magazine and we are here today with our friend Leanna Crawford to talk to her about being launched as a new artist right in the middle of a pandemic and about her new EP which is self-titled and it's out now. Hi Leanna, how are you? I'm so good, how are you? I am doing well. Now for everybody, we met Leanna right before the pandemic started. She came into our office and did a wonderful cafe with us. And then all of a sudden the world stopped. What was it like starting your career, you know, with, with this huge audience and then all of a sudden not being able to go out and tour, not being able to do a radio tour, or go and, and see your fans? I think it was I mean, it was definitely bizarre, I think because we were all in the same boat and all just kind of like, we have no idea. Like, it was just like, I was like, well, like I, my favorite part of, of all this is really like doing live shows and getting to meet right. people. And like, that's like the most special thing to me. And so for that, like, I was like, my, my whole heart was like, oh, I miss it so much. But like every week I'll get a call from my manager and he'd be like, well, this tour got canceled. This got canceled. Um, and so that was kind of just, but everyone was in the same boat. And so I think there was like that part of it where I was like, okay, there's something good that's going to come out of this as well. And I was just like grateful that people were like still playing my music and stuff, which was wild. Yeah. Um, and there were still a lot of sweet things. It was just, I mean, it was bizarre, but we were all in the same boat. So I think that was just like, oh, well, here we are. <laughs> well, I will tell you, your music is fun. It really is fun, but it takes a real hard hitting look at what a lot of, of, especially young people are facing. I think, especially with your new song, Mean Girls, really talks to young women who are in their teens and early twenties about how life is, but how God really sees them. What's your inspiration for that? Yeah. I mean, words are powerful. And, uh, I, I'm definitely like a words of affirmation person, like on like the love languages. Like that's right. like, like, I think that's like big number one. Um, but I mean, they all like words just affect all of us. Right. And we don't even like maybe realize it sometimes. Um, but it feels like the, the words that like the negative things that people say, and maybe they don't even mean to, those are the things that tend to stick with you. Right. Um, and like my first experience with like words, I was like eight years old and I was like playing, like we were just like playing dolls. I was playing dolls with my friends and she made a comment about my weight and like little eight year old Leanna, like just had never looked at herself like in a different, like I was just like, I'm, you know, fine. And I was just like, in, in that moment, I was just like wrecked. And I like remember like going to my mom and crying and like, I, and so it, one of those things, it's just so harmless. Right. But then it like carries with you. And that's like, even like the start of it. Um, but I was on Instagram one day and it's so funny, but I heard like, but Natalie Grant put on her stories, like she was at a doctor's office and uh, with her daughter and she heard another mom and her daughter it, like her daughter was on the scale and her mom said something about her weight. And so like Natalie, as she does, like she kind of like went off and was like, that's not okay. And as I like thought about like my story and then I was just like kind of inspired that morning. And so I remember just like writing like the hook of the song. Um, and then I brought it into my co-write later that day, but I was just like, this is uh, so important for me. And it was just like very, like, I was like, this feels like too real to like write this. Like, like, I don't, I don't know that I even, but but not too real. Like that's like what we all want to do right, as writers. But, um, but then I came to the right and we, and we wrote mean girls, which, uh, I'm very thankful that we did, which I'm like, I, I love, uh, just that, but it is, it is very like honest. Um, but it's definitely, there's also hope in it too. <laughs> uh, but it is just like very, like, here's some of my insecurities and here's what I'm like going through currently, but also there's hope and that those words do not define who you are and they don't find who I am. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of where it came from. Well, I, I love that you are that role model that young women can look up to in that and that you are saying, we all go through it and it's okay and it'll get better and God's there for us. And, and I really appreciate that, that you're, you're stepping into that space and, and, and being that person, you know, to say, this is going to happen to everybody, but it's okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what's next for you? Are we going to see a full length album anytime soon? I hope so. I'm, I'm writing and I'm so excited about the songs that I have right now that I'm just yeah. like ready to, ready to put out. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited that we got to release those six songs like before, like, or it was kind of like, I guess in the middle, but like that we still got to do it. 
because uh i mean i think it it was awesome like i'm so thankful to have that out but like as soon as it's out i'm like okay i'm ready to put the new stuff out <laughs> like i'm like okay ready for the next thing right. um but then i'm also like okay no it's like good it's good to just like sit in this and 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 wait but i'm i'm ready uh ready to share new songs and um i'm yeah excited about what i've been working on and about the songs that i have um and so just hopefully hopefully soon okay all right, we'll be on the lookout for it. Yeah. Now, as a, a songwriter, what, I was going to say singer, but you, of course you're a singer, but not every singer is a songwriter. So as a songwriter, do you have a favorite lyric or song um, that you've written? Oh, it, and I, I don't, because we're just talking about this, it's probably Mean Girls. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the, it's it's probably, the, it's just that like hook, because I feel like I was like, I, it felt very like this was like me that I wrote it and came in. It's um, words. I smile and I pretend it doesn't hurt mm -hmm. like that. Just even that like line, like I kind of felt like that was too much, I guess. And then I brought it. And, and so even just like that little line, I was like, I actually love this. But even in that, I did not like it at first. Like, I'm just like, so I like overthink so much and I did not like it at first. And then, which I need to, I'm like working on, you know, just being like, I like this, but, but it was, uh, it, that's probably one of my favorite lyrics that I've, that I've written was definitely like just that hook of the chorus of Mean Girls. And so, um, yeah, that's definitely probably one of them. Yeah. Do you have a song or a lyric that you wish you had have written that someone else did? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> I feel like um, I it's funny, but I get to write with uh, Matthew West a lot. And oh, his song, <laughs> yeah, um, his song, Truth Be Told, yes. that's all right now. I love the honestly, like the whole song. Mm -hmm. um, but even just like his chorus, I'm just like, I say I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. But I'm not like, I don't know. It's just like the whole song. I'm like, OK, I kind of I really wish I would have written that. <laughs> I, I um really wish I would have written Holy Water by We the Kingdom. I mean this <laughs> I can tell you Matthew came in sometime last year and did a cafe with us for CCM and sang that song. He's like, it's not out yet, but I want to share this with you. And the whole office had come in and they don't come in for everybody. But we we had that little cafe room packed full of coworkers and I don't think there was a dry eye in that room, but truth be told. So I, I get it. Powerful lyric is, is something that's really important. So, yep. But as we wrap up our interview today, is there a message of hope that you would like to leave our viewers? Yeah, I would love to. Um, I think just even talking about my song, Mean Girls, I feel like it's, it's very much in the space of like, here's like, here's where I've been hurt. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think something I, I talk about too, is just like self-talk and like the way that we talk to ourselves. Um, like God wouldn't want us to like say, Oh, like you're an idiot, you're a failure. Like he says, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And, and so just that idea of like being like aware of what we're talking about, but then too, like just remembering like what God says about you. Um, there's like so much, um, hope in that because I think we can get so stuck on like what people have said about us or we just like make up what they think they're thinking about us or what we're thinking about ourselves but that's not at it like that's not at all what the truth is the truth is that we're fearfully and wonderfully made and God has a plan for our lives and I think just like knowing that for me and remembering that like if I like wrote that down every single morning I would be like so much like I would be just like fearless because I'd be like okay no there's there's a plan and he has it all under control right. um but my my favorite my favorite scripture, which is just like, I've needed, like I found it at 15 and I'm like, I need, I need this at 25 and 25 now. And I like, I just like need this to hear this every day, but it's Joshua one, nine, have I not commanded you Do not be afraid nor dismayed for the Lord, your God is with you wherever you go. And just like those words are the ones that like, we need to hold on to every single day. And I need to hold on to that every day, but whatever, uh, you're going through, whoever's watching this, um, that's just the truth that God's with you every single step of the way. So good word. Well, Leanna, thank you so much for coming by and talking to CCM Magazine today. And everyone, make sure to go and listen to Mean Girls. It's out now. Cannot wait to see what happens next for you. And I'm really excited to hear new songs from you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome.